So in today's video, I will be talking about how you can automate many of the Shopify tasks with or without a coding experience using a paid Shopify app which is called Mechanic. Before we get started, each task will be linked in the timestamp with their link in the description below. So let's get started. So the Mechanic app is a development uh, tool for technical and non-technical persons. So they already have some pre predefined tasks that you can use and I will be using some real live uh, use case for this app. So the first thing we need to do is uninstall the application. So I will leave the link in the description or you can search for mechanic in the app store. So I will grab my development store. So I will click on install app. So I will start with the first task. So it's set product template based on the product tag. So for example, so in the Shopify admin dashboard, you can bul bulk edit uh, Shopify product template. So you need to manually change the product template for each one. And if you have like a lot of uh, product catalog, it will be like a very uh, time consuming task. So in this uh, task, so I will, you need to provide the tag that uh, the product tag that you want to, to have some custom products on it and the product template. So I will create a new task. So I will leave the link of this task in the timestamp in the video description. So this is how a task look in mechanics. So it's, uh, you don't need to have a technical background to be able to edit this. So for example, this is the task name and this is the add item. So you can add in the left, you can add the, the tag. So I will make it pre-order. And for the left uh, box, you can just add the, the custom product template suffix. So I will make it pre-order also. So if you are a technical person and you want to edit like uh, this task, you can just click on show advanced and the code will show up and you can edit it. So I will click save. So there is sometimes the, when you are installing the mechanic app, it will be just asking for the basic uh, Shopify permission. But when you add the, when you add the new task, it will uh, uh, ask for new permission that uh, the task need. So I will, uh, update the, the Shopify mechanic app permission to access to the product per, to read and write in to the product permission. So it will be read and write the products coll and collection. So I will click on update app. So I will go back and click on uh, to, the, to add the, a custom product template. So in online store and in the Shopify team, I will add a custom Shopify products page to test the task. So it will be just a basic uh, product template. It will be the same, but just uh, to test the functionality. So I will go in new template and choose products and the, uh, the suffix that, uh, that we use in uh, mechanic, I will call it pre-order. So it will be like uh, the, the basic product page. So I will go back here and I will choose this one, for example. So currently in the Shopify team template, we have the product. So I will add pre-order in the tag. And it will be the same if you have like a previous. So for example, if you have like a previous, uh, before installing this application, you have some uh, products that have like a, the pre-order thing. It will be, uh, it's, it will update uh, with, the, the, with, the, with the selected template. So I will click on save. So if I refresh the product page to be able to see the difference, as you can see here, we have product dot pre-order. So this tax is working. So let's move on to the next task. So in this tax, it will auto, uh, auto tag customer based on the discount code used. So I will go and click on try, try this task. 
and it will be redirect to the mechanic app and prefill all the thing so we can just add some field so we have here at the task so i will click on add item for example we can create a discount for an influencer so i will create a new new discount code so i will call it my inst with my instagram handle so for example i will call it my instagram handle elias of the tree and the percentage maybe it will be 20 so it will be for everyone and start from today so the discount code is generated so i will grab the code and get back to the app and paste the code and maybe i will make for the tag instagram so i will save it so the mechanic app need more permission to access the customer data and the order so because need to access the orders to get like a the discount code use it and the customer data to be able to write the new customer tag so click on update app to update the permission so that's great so i will open the online store to place a test order so i will go to the catalog and i will add this to the cart so I buy it buy it now so i will prefill this so i will prefill and apply the the discount code it's Elias had the tree so discount applied continue to shipping continue to payment continue to payment and after that add my credit card and security code and pay now so it's processing the order so i will go back to the dashboard and i will click in the customer to check if the auto tagging works or not so this is the customer so this is the last order so this is the tag so it's working so it's instagram at ilias had the tree so let's move to the next one so in the order in the order detail page you can preview where the the customer are coming from but uh, for uh, you can filter in the in the shopify dashboard you can filter by by referral so you can only search by status and tags and many other and many other field but i will tag the online order by their ref their uh, referral so i will click and try this task so this is how the task works so you have like uh, the parameter name so you can make ref or for example any query parameter so the query parameter will, will looks like so for example if i make it so it will be looks like this so for example ref for example i will make it youtube channel for example So I will make this and I will make it for, so it will add like a, a card attribute. So if you are, if the, if the user click on buy it now, it will not work. But if the user add to the cart, add the product to the cart, and after that process to the checkout, it will uh, work. So you can tag the customer with the parameter value. So the parameter value, it will be YouTube channel. So you can also check this. So I will leave it like this. So I will click on save and I will place a test store, a test uh, order. So I need to grant also some, some permission to access the cut, the cards attribute to, to be able to, uh, to the task to work. So you can click, I will place another order so i will go here and 
make ref so for example you can uh, send a link like this to our instagram influencer to add this attribute and also you can use the utm parameter in this app but it's another task so i will i will leave it i will uh, leave the task library in the comment in the description so you can check all the tasks that you can use with this app and also you can do some custom tasks also so i will go and choose this one or i will choose another one so i will choose this one so i will add it to the cart so i already have this pre-filled so i will save and continue now let's move on to the next task so auto customer with within a purchase range so this stack will, will do it will use like a, the, the historical purchase and you can set like a, the minimum and the maximum for example you want to tag some uh, some customer with the tag vip if the if the number of placed order are from 10 to like a 30 it will be called vip customer so i can we can click on try this task so as you can see here we have the tag applied now it's a vip so let's get to the next one so we can auto tag order with cart with cart attribute so cart attributes is like uh, some custom field that you can add to the cart page yes so i will click on try this task so i will add a cart attribute first and after that done so i will make it like a uh, text short so i can make it so give name for example and copy the code so i will go to the shopify team so i will go in the template so in the card page in section so in section card template So after that, go before the end of the forum. So in this thing, so I will paste like this. So the attribute is gift name. So I will go back to the task. It's this one. So the card attribute to monitor, it's our, your, gift so i will go to check gift name so it's gift name and click save so I will place a test order so you can so I will choose this one So in auto tagging, it will be much easier to search for order and filter them and export them. So I will click on view card. So for the graph name, maybe I will make my name. It's in that. And I will go to the checkout. So I will speed up the video.
And so I will go back to the order. So we have the gift name, it's, this is the value. And we have the value of the gift name as a tag. So let's move to the next one. So this one, it's e email a summary of all order and quantity order with mechanics. So it will send an email. You can, uh, you can add the, 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 the email you want to send to. And it will send at midnight an email with all the, the the order that are placed in the in the day so we can include only the open order so i make um, a fully paid one or unfulfilled so you can just make any one you want so i can add the recipient so i will make my email so you can add the subjects and the day. So for example, it will send a summary of all the order and you can, you can add, it will send only on Monday, all the order. So it will send an email with all the fully paid order at Monday at midnight so i will give you an overview of how the email will, will looks like so i already done that so this is how the email will looks like so we have the date and we have all the quantity and so this one it so you can click on try that so it will send an email alert if a collection has no order after x day so it will be much easier to to be able to monitor some collection that has less order and or no order. So you can click on try this task and it will prefill all the, the order. So I will add the recipient. So it will monitor all the collection. So the day to wait before checking so for example if you need uh, like a month before checking uh, if if the the collection has a new order or not or you can just make it 15 days or it's it's up to you so you can just save it and it will be monitoring so you can check all the tasks from this task library so i will leave the link of it in the description below and you can also do a custom custom tag so maybe send a slack message to a channel when new order are coming or when you a new customer has placed some order so it's up to you so you can do anything so you can automate all the thing so that's it for today's video if you find this video useful don't forget to leave a like and comment with your feedback about this video and suggestion for future Shopify related video and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell to get all the new Shopify related uh, video and that's it and thank you.